Hello and welcome to Video Revealed. I'm Colin Smith. Let's look at something I call mirrorscapes. All right, I wanted to show you some of the things that you can do when you combine effects inside Premiere Pro. Yes, you can go to After Effects and do crazy things, but a lot of editors find that intimidating. Well, with only layering a few different effects in Premiere Pro, you can get amazing results. I highly advise saving presets, which I'll show you in a second, because sometimes you can't get the same results when you're just playing around with things and, and uh, trying different things. So I like to save a bunch of presets as I get something successful. All right, let's go have a look. So I've got three clips here as examples. The first one is a good one because although it's fairly locked off, there's lots happening from one side to another. So there's lots of things that crossing across the path. The next one from my buddy, Kurt Pear, is primarily in the center, although there are points when he goes outside of the center of the frame. And the last one is this shot from Adobe Stock that is primarily in the center, but the subject moves outside of that. And you can see these wonderful light flashes going on here. I also like this because the background is clearly defined from the subject. So now when any, whenever anything is moving out of the middle of the frame, which is where we're going to apply our mirror effect, um, it's just going to create some great results. So three clips, and I want to try this effect on all three. I'm going to use an adjustment layer because that way one change to the adjust, adjustment layer will show up on all three effects. Let's do that first. So in the project bin down at the bottom, it's the easiest way to, to add an adjustment layer. Click on this little new item icon, adjustment layer, makes it the frame size, click OK, drag it to our track, and drag it out. So now every time we need, make a change, we need to make sure we've got this uh, selected. So make sure you've got the uh, adjustment layer selected. In our effects, they might be over here in this section here, in our effects, type mirror. These are my presets. I'm just going to use the one in the distort category. When you have something selected in the timeline, you don't have to drag, double clicking will apply it. So you can see it's applied here and you can't see any difference and you see a red line. All right, so the red line doesn't mean I have to render. Uh, the red line just means this is not an accelerated effect and it probably won't play back in real time on a very slow computer. I'm using a smoking fast Dell Precision 7740 uh, with 12 cores. It's gonna play in real time for me. So when you apply mirror, you don't see a difference and that's because this setting here for the center is way over here on the right hand side. So as I start to move this, you can see there's the center effect. And if we just type in 960, now we've got our mirror effect happening here. Here's what I found though, is anytime if you find what's in the center isn't looking as good as, as one side or the other, I put flip horizontal in. So let's do that. Back into our effects, if you just type in flip, you'll see down here horizontal flip. So for this, I'm gonna drag in because I want it before the mirror effect. And you see what happens when I turn this on and off. It changes, I'll just turn mirror off to show you what it does. So it just flips the screen from one side to another. But what I find is that it gives me the control I want when the, the center isn't working. And, and <laughs> I love this dog. That's a crazy shot of this dog in the center. All right, so that's just a typical mirror effect. Same thing over here. We've got the guy doing his water sports and it's good for, for it's great for sports action um, and great for this shot. So this is what I mean about the, the clear background. So you can see that the center effect the mirror effect really does create that crazy kind of feel here. And watch what happens when I turn off the horizontal flip. It just does something a little different, but I found for this result, it looked good. Okay, so that's one effect. You can actually add 
another mirror effect on here, or you can change this result here. So right now the reflection angle is zero, but if we whip this around and make it 90 degrees, now we get this kind of a water looking reflection. And if we change the vertical down here at the bottom, now you get this interesting reflection look. And if we go over to this guy, well, this kind of looks crazy because he's on the water and we give this a reflection on the water. And back to our DJ at the end, she kind of cut off at her navel. Let's uh, reset this. So now we get this floating head kind of effect going on. Let's add another effect. What if we added the ability to copy this in multiple locations? So instead of just looking at one frame, replicate will reproduce every single one of these in multiple locations. So let's go back to the effects and type in replicate. And you can see that's there. And this one we do want at the bottom. So now we've got this kind of an effect. We've got four of them. And if we want to, we could change that number, which I'll do in a second, but I love that effect. Let's go back over to our first one here. So now it's becoming more of a geometric pattern. And it starts to fall apart with this one because there's not enough stuff in the middle. I mean, as, as far as looking at what it is. Because now it's starting to look just like a geometric pattern, which could be cool for a background. Well, let's add another effect on this. Let me turn replicate off. And let me turn this mirror back to the way we had it before. And let's do it on this one here. If we type in 3D and now take basic 3D and drag that all the way to the top before horizontal flip, so right at the very beginning, and here is a swivel. Let's watch what happens when we change swivel. So now we've got this mirror effect swiveling now. What if we drag basic 3D below the mirror effect? Now we get this kind of an effect where we get the mirror, but it's inside this 3D effect. And if we turn on this specular highlight, now as we swivel this around, we'll see this highlight start to show up. Now basic 3D is accelerated and I've got a super fast NVIDIA Quadro RTX 5000 in this laptop, so it's wicked fast. But you can see this effect. Now let's turn Replicate back on. Now we've got this kind of a thing happening where we're affecting that. Now I've got my, my background on uh, transparent. By default, yours would actually be black like this. So now we've got this kind of an effect. And if we turn the count up, so instead of two, we turn it to three by three. Now we've got nine of these happening on here. Now, now it's getting kind of hard to play, even on this system. All right, so let's turn off basic 3D. Let's go back to two by two. And now let's try transform. So I'll drag transform in before the mirror. And let's try to rotate this around. So because it's before the mirror, you can see this crazy geometric pattern showing up. If we drag transform but after the mirror, this also, I think this looks pretty cool too, because as it rotates around, it snaps in place. So there's vertical, watch it, boom. It's like puzzle pieces coming together. 
Pretty cool. And if we shut replicate off, so now we're just looking at the layer itself and rotating that around. You got rotating that effect. And if we change the scale and fill that up, Now this is looking crazy. And if we rotate that around, which we could be animating. Now I'm really having trouble starting to play this back. And the scale is huge, so the image starts to fall apart. But remember, we're making stylized kinds of effects here. We're not really uh, hoping that the clarity of the, of the image when it's zoomed in this much is gonna be um, you know, representative of the original image. So let's turn transform off. Now, let me just show you the presets that I saved. So I'm just gonna remove all of my attributes out of there. Right click, okay. We go back to the original and so that's similar to the first one that I was showing you. All right, I'll undo that. Here's my second one. And this one is using the horizontal flip, mirror, mirror, and replicate. You can see these great geometric patterns on here. And then the last one It's using transform, basic 3D, and two mirrors on here. So you end up with something that looks really crazy. In fact, if we go back over here, what I think is, is uh, remember that dog? Watch in the center. Oh. There's our dog, which is now turned into almost like animal hieroglyphics. So if we turn back on the transparency grid, we've got transparency here. So what I thought would look better would be to actually put a solid color under behind it instead of black and make it make it representative or relative to the image itself. The problem is if you drag in a color, it's affected by the whole adjustment layer. So the adjustment layer, it just wraps up the background uh, color mat inside the effect so you don't see anything. So you can either drag this nested clip into another clip or export it out with transparency. And I've got a whole tutorial on uh, exporting out with transparency. So let me show you this one, which now has a color mat on the bottom. And by the way, you need three separate mats on here. Um, if you try to uh, duplicate them in the timeline, they will actually change in all these locations. So now let's look at this. Um, there's our dog and I actually this is what I mean by saving presets what I just made you didn't look as good as this, as this. I don't know why remember I'm just playing around with a bunch of settings so I'm glad I saved my, my preset and exported this out because this one looks Fantastic, look at that. And these wheels coming forward. Okay, I love this, check it out. The wheels come forward and look at that. That is amazing. It almost looks like a little bit of a steampunk look. Now we go to our water sports shot. This one, it, it, it again, it's, it's less about the person, it's more about the effect. And then at the end, We've turned our DJ girl into our four naval girl. So all in all, a pretty cool effect. All right. So how do we save the effects? 
Whenever you have an effect over here, if you hold the control key on Windows, the command key on Mac, you can select multiple effects. Right click, save the preset, give it a name and, and write a description if you need that. And then down in the effects, they'll show up in your presets here. So that's where they are. And I also advise you exporting out your presets to save them because a lot of times when you update, they'll be gone or if you clear your, your presets or, or cache or something, they'll be gone. So you should be backing those up. So there you go. A little something I call mirror escapes. It's, it's more about getting you confident with playing with multiple effects. Don't just drop an effect on it, look at it and throw it away because it, it doesn't do what you want. Actually add multiple effects on here and play it back. But also be, uh, you know, remember the fact that if you've got a really slow computer, your export is gonna look fine. So when I export this on a really slow computer, it's gonna look as good as this powerhouse here. But playback might be a problem. Yes, you can render the timeline. It might take a little bit of time. Some of the effects are render are, are GPU accelerated, and when they are, it's incredibly fast. But uh, all in all, there you go. There's something I call mirror escapes. Uh, hopefully, you think that's interesting and, and fun to play with. If you're new to video revealed and you have found this informative, please take a moment and subscribe. We really do appreciate when you do. And if you want to support us some more, you can do that through PayPal. There's a link in the description of this video on the front of the channel, also on videorevealed.com in the YouTube section of our website. Till next time, I'm Colin Smith, and it's my job to let you know all the cool tools that you already have in Adobe 2016.